Okay. Yeah, my name is Thomas Kor. I'm a senior project engineer for the hydrogen program in the United States, and uh, we are located in California, Rockstar. That's uh, our vehicle. This is still a prototype. It looks like a normal 7 Series. Tom yeah, 7 Series car. Thomas, you've got two flaps here. Yes, we have two flaps for normal gasoline, and that's for the hydrogen. Fill up the hydrogen. We have a special coupling for the hydrogen filling. Now, in in Europe, they do kilograms. So, how many kilograms could you put in this hot, this liquid hydrogen tank? Yeah, we can put uh, roughly eight kilogram of hydrogen in it. And about how how much driving range is this? That? Gives us a driving range of approximately 125 miles. More or less depends on the driver also, yeah. But uh, roughly 125 miles. And you've got gasoline as well. So yeah, you've got gasoline as well. Yeah, this gives us uh, an extra of um, I think 300 miles. So you you've got about 425 miles yes. uh, with two tanks. Exactly. Now, we underneath this hood, you've got a a complete hydrogen and internal combustion engine. Is that yeah. correct? Let's open the hood. So, the advantage is having two fuels on board is as long as the hydrogen infrastructure is not well assembled, um, we have the choice to going also on normal gasoline if there, if there is no hydrogen filling station here. So what we can see here is the special hydrogen engine. Um, we have here, for instance, this is the, the uh, supply line of hydrogen. Under the hood, we have the special hydrogen injectors. So we have here a manifold injector engine. And this gives us uh, 191 kilowatts of power in both operation modes. So in hydrogen as well as in, in normal gasoline. And you if, what happens if you run out of hydrogen? You're on the road and you just yeah, run out so of hydrogen. This is a smart vehicle, so it will recognize for, for itself that we run out of hydrogen and automatically switch over to normal gasoline. Or if the driver wishes to, to do it for, for himself, he can also put press a button and it will change automatically to uh, gasoline uh, operation. Now you use liquid hydrogen, others use compressed hydrogen. Yeah. Why do you use liquid instead of compressed? Yeah, liquid has the advantage that there is a much higher energy density. So we have uh, for a powerful engine, we come to a reasonable range. Yeah? This brings us more driving distance. And That's why we do it. And we have to know that normally, um, if they fill up a filling station, the big trucks are also bringing liquefied hydrogen already. So we just take the liquefied there already bring it. If you had done eight kilograms of compressed hydrogen, what mile? What driving range would have you you have gotten? Yeah, if you would take eight kilogram compressed hydrogen, you would have the same range because kilogram is, is has the same energy. But eight kilogram would uh, mean that you have a really big tank in the vehicle, which maybe you need a, a big truck for, for transportation. So, so if it had been uh, the same tank but compressed hydrogen, you would have much less on hydrogen on board, which then gives you either less power performance or uh, less distance, less driving mileage. Talk to us about cryogenics. Do you have cryogenics? Yeah. On yes, board? cryogenics. This is why it's liquefied, so it has to be cryogenic. It is stored by minus 453 Fahrenheit, and uh, it's just a question how to handle it. So we have it stored in the in, in the special super insulated tank system. Then it passes a, a, a evaporizer, so we make it we bring it into a gas form transfer the gas hydrogen with the supply line to the engine and there we make them this uh, mixture formation in, in, uh, in the engine to bring it down in, into the cylinders to, to burn it like a normal like a normal engine do, do you worry about it getting uh, not staying cold enough no not at least you always have a, a special or a certain heat transfer because there is no perfect insulation but the insulation is pretty good and so gives us a uh, good period of time where we can park the vehicle and uh, without losses so but after after a certain time a any installation um, allow our heat transfer so this is normal and there uh, this is a prototype right here but there will be about a hundred 760 BMWs hydrogen internal combustion engines given to people around the world to yes. to for real world testing for BMW is that correct yeah it's a kind of field test but it's also um, 
yeah, to, to let's say to bring the technology closer to the people, to show what is possible with hydrogen technology. That it's not just a, a vision for the future; it's a, a major uh, technology. And if the society decided to to, to want to have hydrogen vehicle, BMW is ready to deliver. Thomas, thank you very much. Yeah, you.